like right now we're just trying to design exactly where the uh, the intake's going to be, where we're going to put our blue barrel, and uh, how that's all going to go down. It's quite flat at the intake, so we need to balance the difference between the water coming out of the intake and into the blue barrel, because we want as much flow through through that as possible, but then also having enough slope coming out of the penstock of the blue barrel to give the water, let the water um, flow into the penstock as best as possible. So we're just trying to make, find that balance between where we want everything. This is the, the intake I was thinking about last year, but it doesn't quite give us enough height to get over to where the, uh, the pipe's going to come out. So we, now we're going to try to get the pipe on the left side of that big stump there. So we're going to try to move the intake up a little bit to give us a bit more height. And then try to dig it in here, divert the water just a little bit to have it come out here. And then hopefully put a big rock here to kind of hold some of the water back, have the water flow over the rock into the intake. And then it's going to flow down here to that stump and then continue down into a blue barrel on the other side and then into the penstock and off to the micro hydro. That's the plan for now. This is just version one, so we'll see how it turns out. But it's really nice to be not trenching today. <laughs> So, after much uh, deliberation, we've decided that we think the best thing to do is we went and cut these two spruce logs, and we went and collected all these nice big flat rocks. So we're gonna try to bury the dig out just above the intake here, and bury the logs horizontal across one under the other and then lay the rocks on top of the two logs. So you'll have like your first log, second log, with the rocks on the top. And hopefully that'll keep the bank from washing out, provide a little bit of support, and allow the water to run on top of the rocks to keep all this dirt from washing out. And then from there, it should fall seamlessly into the intake. <laughs> So this part's looking good. You can see that I got my two logs exposed, so that'll be something that I can attach the intake into. I've got my rocks sitting on top of this, so this is what I'm gonna notch out with my chainsaw. It's just a little notch for that to sit in. Um, you can see that the rock is a little lower in the middle, which is perfect. That should keep the water coming mostly right over top of the rock. And then I got my trench that comes out that I'll fill with rocks that hopefully the water will flow on top of, and then the water comes out of right up there. So we just need to dig in a little intake. Water will come here, across the rocks, over this rock, notched out, and into the intake. Got our rock in. I'm actually quite happy with the cut. The rock looks somewhat level. We'll see once there's water running over it. Actually had it upside down before. I want this nice slope, the water to come down this nice slope. So I don't have that nice indent in the middle of the rock, unfortunately, but hopefully it's flat enough. So we're ready for the final test. That's my full intake, just to make sure that the water doesn't absolutely blast the, uh, the bottom of the, where the intake is going out. 
stream here goes back to the back to the creek. We've got a rock. I kind of filled it all with mud all the way around underneath. It looks like it's slightly sloping downhill, also towards the center. So hopefully when we get the water going here, well, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Number two, I fixed a low spot right over here, but there's a high rock right there that I think is the culprit, which is too bad because it's a big one. It's like the biggest one I put in. So I'm gonna try it once without taking this out, see how she goes. into the system but it seems like it's following this really well but the more water I put in the more it kind of like spreads out on that rock which makes sense it's a flat rock and there's just no way I can capture that wide of a mold so I think I need to rethink exactly how to get all that water to land in one spot so now we're gonna build the intake box uh, and this box is basically gonna, it's gonna collect all the water, it's gonna filter out all the leaves, and it's gonna send that water to the um, blue barrel, where it's gonna go through kind of a second filtration and air removal process. But this is where I want to collect all the water from the creek, get all the water from the creek into the barrel, and then the overflow from the barrel will go back to the creek, and the uh, the pipe will take whatever it needs, but the more water we can get into that barrel, the better that pipe will stay full. So we have this kind of metal screen. This is just left over from my neighbor. I was gonna do this kind of thicker metal here with a screen over top of it. I just want a little bit of rigidity to that, that screen so if a stick or anything comes through, it doesn't poke a hole in it. Um, but this honestly will probably be fine so we'll definitely use that. I found a pe this piece of plywood. It's just a leftover piece of plywood, but it looks like, honestly, that's probably about the angle that I'd be looking for uh, so that all the leaves and stuff that get caught on the screen will hopefully wash off. So it needs to be quite a steep angle, but also collect the water. So I have no doubt this is gonna be one of many different attempts. So I'm not gonna put too, too much time and effort into this one. Just a basic idea, we'll see how it works out and then hopefully version 2.0 or 3.0 or 4.0 or however many go eventually we'll get it right but yeah we'll just build one and see see how it goes Ooh, look at that beauty so this is version 1.0 of the intake box uh i basically just made out a bunch of scraps just to see how it works, but I, I'm, I'm quite hype, happy with it. So I wanted, to, I wanted it to be steep enough here that all the leaves and anything that hits the screen will roll off. Um, so it's pretty steep. There's no like, there's no lips. The screen goes over top of everything. Uh, I even angled this piece of wood here so everything rolls off nicely. Um, the only place there's a lip is back here where I just put this piece of wood to keep the screen on. And uh, so I'm a little worried about that, but I'm gonna try to hide that underneath in behind where the water comes on. So the water will hopefully hit here. Uh, it's nice and wide at the top and it'll, it'll kind of kind of angles down. So the pipe coming out, the, forcing the water to down to where the pipe's gonna come out the bottom. It'll be a four inch pipe coming out the bottom. I put this here just as a backup in case anything rips this screen here. 
and gets in. Uh, this is just kind of a secondary filtration system. So the pipe is gonna sit in here like that. And I think it'll leak pretty heavily around the pipe, but <clears throat> a little bit of leaking I think will be okay. Then this is gonna go on the end here. down into the, <laughs> sorry, it looks kind of funny. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna come down there into the, so the blue barrel will be sitting quite a bit lower. <clears throat> and there'll be another, another pipe that comes down into the blue barrel and it'll go, so say the intake for the penstock will be here. This pipe coming in will be below where the penstock is so that any, any really fine sediment that like makes it into the box and then through the pipe and comes down will settle at the bottom of the blue barrel and it'll be only the water that can go back up and then out the penstock. That's the idea anyway. It might make more sense when you see it. But anyway, let's take this up and uh, see how it looks. So I got the box version 1.0 in place. It fits underneath, which is awesome because I was afraid it was going to be way too big, too tall. Uh, I redesigned this part a little bit. Just put a bunch of that white rock and sand and stuff on the top to hopefully keep it from totally washing out. I turned these rocks sideways so they'll now direct the flow of water onto this rock. Which has a little bit of a dip in it, but I feel like all the water is going to probably pour off right here. Um, but anyway, we'll see when we turn it on, when we divert the flow this way. The only issue now is like the bottom is so low that I don't know where I'm going to put the blue barrel. I think, unfortunately, this tree has to go. And I'm going to put the blue barrel probably right down here and then connect that black pipe coming out there into the blue barrel here. But, Anyway, before we do any of that stuff, we gotta to make sure that the intake is working. So I'll do a little bit more digging out here and then I'll divert the water and see what happens. Oh, well, look at the mess that I've created <laughs> for somebody we thought they'd just come in, put a little intake in, take a little bit of water. You can, you can tell I've, I've definitely been here and affected the creek, which is a little too bad, but anyway, <clears throat> this is what I got going on. So eventually, this will be where my clean out for the barrel goes. So there's a little trench here, so that's where I'm going to run my clean out line. And that's so that I can clean everything out of the bottom. Any sediment build up in the bottom of the barrel will end up here and then go right back into the creek there. Uh, so it looks a little messy now, but this is all gonna be filled back in. I'm gonna, I wanna be able to access it in the winter, so I need to be able to find it. So I'm basically like hiding it in there so that I know exactly where to find it between this big tree and this big stump in case I ever have to let it go, open it during the winter. And then if we go up to clean that line, so this is where the blue barrel is going to be buried. Um, I hit a big rock there, so I'm hoping that it's going to fit, in, but I can always move this log over a little bit. But the blue barrel is going to be there, so the clean out is at the bottom of the blue barrel, so that's why the trench is so deep, going that way. Then I'm going to have, this is the penstock line, so this line is going to come uh, underneath the tree and connect into the blue barrel here. And then the overflow from the blue barrel will just be from here, right over this little thing, back into the main tree. So, I've done a little bit of work on the intake. I've taken it out, it's just sitting here because when I open the floodgates, I think there's going to be lots of little rocks and debris and stuff. But this is my, in the meantime, intake. So it's going to come down uh, through here, off this rock, into the intake, and then the intake go into the blue barrel, and then from the blue barrel, back to the creek, down the pen stuff, or down the trench, and uh, out there at the bottom of the clean right there. So, anyway, I'm about to open the floodgates, so we'll see what happens. So that's about 
75% of the water diverted. So this is the normal creek here. And intake looks like it could still use a bit of work. It's coming off kind of all angles of that rock there. So it would be nice if it all kind of came off on one point onto the onto the screen there. But anyway, let's divert the last 20% here and we'll uh, see how it goes. So the end of the first day, I think I'm going to leave it like this for tonight. Pretty actually happy though. Um, we got the water coming down the little river. Putting these guys. Basically just piled a bunch of mud and rocks on both sides of that main rock underneath. And it looks like it's doing a pretty good job actually of directing the, the flow of water because most of the flow is hitting with the middle of the screen. I had to pull the box out, the bottom out a little bit because <clears throat> the flow was hitting like way down here. So by pulling the box out, now it hits right in the center. You could definitely see a little bit of debris here, but I don't think it's really affecting what's going into the box. It's nice to see how small these rocks are that that screen is keeping out. These little rocks here are kind of exactly what I'm hoping don't get through the system. So between this screen and the screen on the pipe here, uh, but really there's pretty much this four inch pipe is full of water coming out. I don't know that it can handle that much more water. There's a little bit still bubbling out here and coming out over the top here. So this, the pipe definitely isn't taking all of the water out of the uh, where, where it collects there. So if I wanted to take any more water, I think I'd need to add another, another whole pipe. Maybe have it come out the bottom. But uh, I can't even see myself using half of this amount of water. So yeah, we'll leave it like this for now. I'll think about it tonight and uh, come back tomorrow with the barrel and we'll see what we can make happen.